Killer Watts is here to review DC's The Flash. Flash! Put that clip in there, man. <laughs> Stop playing, dog. I don't pay you to be funny like that, man. You're not funny. You know I ain't talking about that old ass movie. Come on, man. <laughs> Flash. <clears throat> ah. What it is, people. What it is. What it is. It's your boy, your EA homie, Killer Watts. 804 coming to you with another movie review. Hey man, this is another banger for you, man. It's like they've been dishing them out every goddamn week, man. Every week there's a new banger at the theater. Theater's packed. Right now we're talking about that new movie, DC's The Flash, starring Ezra Miller. He's uh, reprising his role as Barry Allen, aka The Flash. We also got Ben Affleck, who's also reprising his role as Bruce Wayne, aka Batman. We got Michael Key. Who was Bruce Wayne? Who, <laughs> AKA Batman. And we got a newcomer, Sasha Call, or Kali, one or the other. Uh, she's Carl. She's also she's also known as Supergirl. She's in the movie. You saw in the trailer, so I'm not spoiling it right now. I am a DC fan. And WB just, you know, <laughs> they haven't been living up to my stand as far as these movies go, man, lately, man. Uh, but I'm still hanging on. I'm still hanging on. But I heard a lot of buzz about this movie and Ezra Miller's performance right off the bat. Ezra Miller, he did a he did a fan, he did a great job, man, for this for this type of movie. He's not the flash I envisioned when I first saw him, when I first met him, but it's like I kind of he kind of grew on me. You know what I'm saying? And pretty much we're getting a lot more of that. This whole movie, the whole plot of the movie is based off a comic book uh, series called Flashpoint Paradox. Um, also, as a uh, cartoon animated movie. Oh man, that joke was a banger. This is one of my favorite DC um, animated movies. Check it out, Flashpoint Paradise. Man, that joke was straight. But his his brother died when he was a, a, a child, and that impacted him a certain way and put him on this path where he did become the Flash. But in the future, he still regrets that he still misses his mother, of course. But now he has. But with the power he has, he has the he has the power of speed. He has the speed force. He decides to go back and change that event. Now anybody, like man, how many, how many time-based movies you have to have to look, man? When you go to the past and change something, it's catastrophe. You already know. Even in this movie, Bruce Wayne says it. He said it in the trailer. I'm not spoiling. It. He says that no, you know, you might destroy the goddamn world doing what you're doing. But you know, it's it's almost like a selfish act, man, because a lot of people are affected by the actions, by that type of action to go back and change. Can you? Can you, can you imagine doing that to yourself? If I change one thing about my past, man, my my son might not be born. I might not be married to the woman I'm married to. I just wouldn't be, I wouldn't mean be kilowatts probably. Uh, maybe I should go ahead and go on back. <laughs> but yeah, man, but um, yeah, I, I dug it, man. I really dug it, man. Um, it was, the tone was different than I expected. It was very, it was very uh, humorous. <laughs> It was action heavy, special effects heavy, but I enjoyed it for the most part, man. I really like this movie. Now, I can't go for so deep without spoiling, so I'm not gonna do that right now. But right quick, if I had to rate this movie, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 7.8. You know what I'm saying? Um, There's a reason for that. Let me get into the spoiler part, because you can't, it's hard for me to go into details without spoiling it. I'm gonna have to spoil it. Give me the spoiler sign, give me the spoiler sign. Now, the pros of this junk, I'm gonna have to say the special effects. Like when, when Bird does his time, when he does his speed jump, oh man, that jump right, man. You see everything, the, the special effects for him slowing down everything and just doing what he do. So I was, I was like, oh wow. It was like a joy to watch, man. Just ain't nothing but lights on the screen, like lightning all on the screen. That's all it is, flashing, it flashing my glasses, man. But that was that was sweet. I, lo I love those special effects. Ezra Miller's performance was also was, was great. You know what I'm saying? Just for, for this type of plot, for the type of character he has become. You know what I'm saying? He playing a role and do, be playing two roles because he also, he at some point he goes back in the time where he's 18 and he's, he's, he's interacting with his 18 year old self. 
You know what I'm saying? It's actually believable. His 18 year old self is kind of jipper, goddamn dude, but okay, I thought it. It is what it is. Not a pro was the humor. It was it was spot on a lot of times. Um, it wasn't over the top, too over the top. It was just right sometimes. And Ezra Miller, he just he's just a committed type of dude, the actor, I guess. He just brings just not to bring it to the screen, man. Easter eggs for DC fans. Oh, like I said, it's based off the Flashpoint paradox. So it is it is loosely, it's loosely based on it. So we're seeing a lot. A lot of cameos in this movie. Cameos out the ass, man. Seems to Gal Gadot is Wonder Woman. She's back. You know, she got a quick, quick. I wish they stopped playing that song. Stop playing the song. We get it. We get it. She's back. They actually did, and some stuff actually was touching, man. I saw all oh, this show. Christopher Reeve in the jump. Helen, Helen Slater, who played Supergirl back in the day. She was in it. Uh, briefly, I guess it was like a, a CGI, CGI makeup of her. Zod, my man Zod from Man of Steel was in there. Got a homie name, man, but he was in there. General, he cared with the female, I forgot her name, man. She was in there. So this is off the rip, I just got off the field. I just got off the field. George Clooney, he was in there. I was like, God damn, at the end. I think, you know what, and then for a lot of y'all, y'all tell me if, if y'all thought the same thing I thought. When they did that last scene with uh, George Clooney, saw George Clooney, I think that should have been Christian Bale. I think it was, but for some reason, I don't think they can get it. I wanted Christian Bale to be, be playing, to have some type of role in this goddamn movie. And they were just paying homage to a lot of DC content that came out throughout through some of these movies, man. Like I said, this joke is action heavy. I mean, the fights, oh, the fights, the way they, way they use that power. Michael Keaton, not just get this, this off the bat. Michael Keaton. He kicking ass like nobody else is bad. That bad man was kicking ass, man. Mike, he was on point with this jump, man. When he put that suit on, he was doing some. He doing some shit, man. <laughs> I love every. I love every every scene he was in. Been after he was doing this thing. He was just a stocky, heavy bad man. I mean, he was chasing a dude with the bike for quite a while in this goddamn beginning of this movie. I'm like, damn, dog, what, what the hell are you doing? What kind of bad man are you? Man, you're gonna take them dudes out quick. Uh, newcomer Sasha Cole, or Callie, I don't know her. I gotta figure out how to pronounce her name. Whatever her name is, she was good. She was a cute little thing. But uh, she played Supergirl. Callie has, I guess, older, old, her older, his older cousin. I like how, I like the way she, I like the intensity she brought to the scene. And when she was fighting, she was kicking ass, but she was kicking ass, man. Zod caught it a couple times, man. He's getting his ass whipped. Like the third quarter of the movie when they down when they all go down, man. Flash doing all this. I love the way the way the this Flash know how to use his powers. You know what I'm saying? He know how to vibrate so he get through walls. You know, you know I do a lot of things, man. But it got it, it, it's 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 just ear to see all that on the screen, man. Enjoyed it for the most part. The cons. Oddly, the special effects. I can too. <laughs> this is this is a very special effects heavy movie, man. But the CGI was damn near ridiculous. It was ridiculous, man. It's like you you really had to, man, bring your imagination with you, cause some of that CGI was just tore up. And it, and it, I guess and this type of movie it is, man, for what it's going for. I mean, I guess it, you have to use it, but use it sparingly, man. Not so much I can see the pretty person's face, and it's like it doesn't look real. I'm like, wow, okay. Y'all just said, okay. <laughs> yeah, what it is. Yeah, the way the way Barry goes back in time, you know what I'm saying? The, the mechanism, the, the special effects when he does that, it's just odd. You know, it's like this weird bubble and you're seeing all these CGI figures around him. I was like, I think they could have, why y'all just couldn't just have him go, just, just go back to the past. You don't have to show all that. I, just, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Uh, Cause he just pretty much goes so fast that he break the sound bird. He just go fast, fast in the speed of light. You know what I'm saying? And it's like he goes to this place and it's like his ball and he just, I, it just was too much of that, man. I was like, you didn't really need to do all that, man. But still, it was, and some things didn't have to be seen in that regard. I don't think that really had to be seen. He could have just went back. He just end up in the past. You know what I'm saying? Or the future or whatever, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, these time-based movies, time travel. Um, they could be confusing. This one made it mad confusing, man. It's like, what, what the hell are you doing, man? He kept, he got to the point of the movie. He kept going. The other birds, two birds in here, most of the movie, and one of the other birds just kept going back in time, trying to change. Kept going back, going back, and it just got to a point. Where it was like, okay, this is getting ridiculous. What is going on with this? And they try to explain it. <laughs> With noodles and spaghetti noodles and goddamn meat sauce, I don't know what the hell he was doing. I'm like, man, y'all miss me with all that, man. Just keep it simple. 
Even the goddamn the goddamn animated movie kept it simple. Like, enough way you can understand. He didn't have to show all that, but you know it is what it is, man. Just some point, I was looking at the screen like, what is this? But it is what it is. <laughs> yeah, and another thing, the plot. I can I can dig it, and then sometimes I just couldn't dig it. It was just it's a little out there. It's a little out there. It was touching. Like I said, see Bird. You know, his connection with his mother, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of sad in the end and stuff like that. Because, you know, just like in Flashpoint Paradise, he has to let his mom die. That's just how it has to play out uh, for him to be who he is. I don't take no rocket sign to understand it, man. It made you who you are. As, bad, as Bruce Wayne was telling him one time, it's like, yo, his pain and stuff he carried made him who he is. But also, he's alone at the same time. So, it's like, it, 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 you know, ain't no perfect way to end it. You can't save everybody, man. I just wish, you know, it's it's crazy because, you know, with these WBDC movies, man, the damn, the animated movies that some of these movies are based on gets it right. It's like, why is it so hard, hard to just transfer that to the screen? I don't understand that, man. Because the big thing about that Flash 4 Paradise is we got to see our, a lot of our favorite characters in a different light. Like Wonder Woman, she was she was in love with goddamn Aquaman. Aquaman was a beast. You know what I'm saying? Just a lot of different characters. Superman wasn't on it, wasn't in this movie, of course. He was Camille. Should have been, but it is what it is, I understand. But they need to just start fresh, man. Just start this whole thing over. And try to be more faithful. More faithful to the comics and the goddamn animated movies. You know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with it. And everything don't have to connect like this, man. I just just, just, just do away with this, man. I'm so tired of this, man. If I see one of them do another cameo in the goddamn woman guy, go dope. Come on, man. God damn. I've been mean, tired of y'all gonna do that. And then play the same tune. It's, I'm tired of hearing that tune, though. Tired of it. Yeah, man. But y'all gonna see the jump. Tell me what y'all think. I dug it for the most part. Uh, would I look at it again? Probably not. I don't know. If it come out, come on, stream. I'm streaming or something. I'm watching the stream, but. I'm not buying this on 4K, man. I'm just not amped up about it. Oh, I thought, you know, I heard a lot of buzz behind the scenes. They was going to be off the chain, man. Then it kind of died down. So I said, man, let me, let me check it out. But it is what it is, man. It still, it still was a decent movie. It was a good, it was a good time to sit there and watch, man. I had my homies with me, so we was chill. Oh, you even interested in seeing it, because some people just jumped off. They jumped, they jumped ship, man. They said, I'm tired of watching these damn superhero movies. I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> But give this one a try, man. I think I think you'll enjoy it. Um, a lot of humor in it. Just with that alone, there's a lot of humor, and the action is is, is quite it's quite impressive in a lot of play in a lot of uh, stages. You know what I'm saying? I really I really I was really impressed the way they used their power for their abilities and just the way they did that. Well, that wraps it up with me. Uh, like I said, Ezra Miller, man. I don't know what his legal problems is. I'm gonna look into that right now. But uh, I hope you get through it, brother. But man, you did a you had gave a solid performance in this joint. It's real nice, man. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I can say I enjoyed it. This is your boy, Killer Watts 804 your homie from VA. And I'll be back at you with another video, man. Peace out.